Well, Steve, talk about getting the messaging out. You and I have been trying to get the message out for the past 17 years on a wonderful show, one of the, <laughs> the best shows, and I'm not just saying that. It happens to be ratings-wise, uh, one of the best shows uh, that Fox News has now, called Forbes on Fox. Uh, unfortunately, because we're, of changes we're making, uh, we're, we're going to miss Forbes on Fox. We are going to get Cavuto live every weekend from 10 to 12. But we put together a little collage of some highlights from long ago and far away. I'm sure some of it's going to embarrass both of us, but let's take a look. Back when you were in kindergarten, right. yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm David Aswin. Welcome to Forbes on Fox. Well, nobody wants to be compared to Enron or Arthur Anderson. So now some companies are throwing everything but the kitchen sink into the public record. The information should be disclosed. If they know that a, that a company has a reputation for disclosure, they'll trust that company. War is the word on Wall Street these days. The showdown with Saddam being blamed for all those red arrows we see in the stock market. Once you get over the fears of the war, once that crisis is resolved, people are going to see this economy starting to recover. It's a new all-time high for the Dow as soon as next year. Well, is it possible, probable, or just a pipe dream? The Dow should go above 12,000 next year. For everybody here at Forbes on Fox, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. You know, Steve, when we started Forbes on Fox, everybody said, geez, it's a highbrow magazine. How are you going to, how is it going to work on television to talk about all the intricate stuff you, stuff you talk about? We managed to do it for 17 years. We didn't talk down to the audience. We presented very complex subjects, but in a way that everybody could understand. Yeah, I almost said, who are those two guys on TV? <laughs> look so well, young. <laughs> we had a lot of help. I, I, I can't forget, by the way, your former managing editor, Jim, Jim Michaels, an 80, 88 year old guy was still on. He had a raspy voice. He had Arthur Arthritic hands, but the demos, that is the younger people tuned in when he was on, we loved him. Yes, and the key thing is getting out information in a way that people find useful. And that's yeah. uh, and the Fox, to its credit, was the first and only station to take a print media and make it successful on the screen. Well, thank you for that. And tomorrow you can miss 11 a.m. on Fox News Channel, Forbes on Fox. It's our last show, but then again, the following week, you're going to see Cavuto live every week at that time, so be prepared for that.